In this video, you'll learn how to install any of the Photoshop extension panels available from Greg Benz onto a Macintosh computer. If you're a Windows user, I recommend you watch the Windows version of this video instead of this one. Now, I'm going to install Lumenzia in this video, but the process would be the same for any of my extension panels. My free panel or any other panel I create is going to use essentially the same process. Even if the pop-up dialogs are slightly different, the overall process will be identical for all extension panels. And it starts with a zip file. So you should have downloaded a zip file from me and you can extract it using the tools built into the Mac operating system by either right clicking and choosing open or just double click on the file and you see the unzip contents. This includes an asset subfolder. This is the actual software that needs to be installed. Later in this video, I'll show you a bulletproof method to install this manually if you run into any problems. But instead, you just simply need to run this install script and the way to run it is not by double clicking it here. If you do that, you're gonna get an error. Instead, you have to go into Photoshop and tell Photoshop to run this software, which is this install something.jsx bin file. So let's go open up Photoshop, give it a second to load, and then we're gonna go up into the file menu, go to scripts, browse. That was file, scripts, browse. And we just need to point back to that little piece of software. So we'll go to where I've unzipped the file, highlight this JSX bin file, click open, and now we're running the installer. Just simply choose what you want to install, accept the license terms, click install, and that is the whole process. At this point, you are installed, and you just simply need to quit Photoshop and restart Photoshop. If you don't restart Photoshop, the software will not be visible. Once we open this back up, give it a second to load, go look under Window, Extensions, and here we see we've installed the Basics panel and Lumenzia. If I click on it, we can see here's Lumenzia. If I click any button and it responds, the software is properly installed. It's an all or nothing deal. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you'll either see nothing or get some kind of error. Now, if you looked under Window, Extensions, and you didn't see your software, make sure you restarted Photoshop Otherwise, if you had some problem getting to this point, then we may need to install the software for you manually. Some, there are some small cases where the script cannot do its job, specifically because there are passwords protecting the destination folders. And that's no problem. I'll show you how to install the software manually. But for most people, you'd be done at this point. So let's go ahead and quit Photoshop, and I'll show you that manual process. So to install an extension panel manually, all extension panels are is some folder. In this case, it'd be this folder that we need to move to the proper location on our computer. That's all we have to do is move this folder from here to another spot on the computer. Now, what you need is in the unzip content under the assets folder, you're going to see the different folders you have. So I've got the Lumenzia folder, and then inside we see there's three different versions of the Lumenzia software. There's the Flash version. This is for people on Photoshop CS6. There is HTML. That's for people on Photoshop CC. And then there's the ZXP, which is for anyone who's using a ZXP installer. This includes both the CS6 and CC versions. Um, and I'm not going to cover this here, but if you want to learn more about it, it's in the how to install document it includes information about using this method. We're just going to install for Photoshop CC. So this is the folder we need to move to the right spot on our computer. Now to get there, we can either manually navigate there on the, the how to install instructions includes a section that lists the various destinations. So we can navigate there manually by opening up a new finder window. So let's just create a new window. You would go in finder go go to folder, you would just copy and paste or type in the folder from the how to install guide here, click go, and it's gonna show you this is the destination folder. So in this case, we've already installed Lumenzia. I'm going to remove it here, but this might list other panels you already have installed from Adobe or whomever. Um, but all you have to do is bring this here over to the destination folder. So if you alt click and drag, we'll create a copy or you just drag and drop to move it, but just make sure it's this com.something.ext. That is the right level to move. And just simply putting it in this location, that's it. You would be fully installed at this point. 
Now, I mentioned there's an easier way to find this destination folder. Let me show you that. Let's just first get rid of this, close this. So this would be the software you've unextracted from the zip file. What we can do instead is run the script again to point us to the right place to install manually. So go back to Photoshop. Go File, Scripts, Browse. We're going to navigate back to that script. And this time, we're not going to click Install because it's for some reason it's failed. And it's really just because of password protections on your folders. That's the, for the majority of people, that would be the underlying issue. But if we click Show Panels Folder, that pops open a new window automatically for us. So you don't have to go to the how to install document. You don't have to know which folder to go to. It's going to open this for you. And now we can just alt click and drag to copy this over here. That's Lumenzia. If you want the basics panel, just go over, grab the CC version of it from the HTML folder, alt click and drag that. And now the two panels are installed. Just simply restart Photoshop and you're done. If you are still stuck after watching this video, a few resources you should know about. First is the how to install document. This includes um, very detailed instructions and in all the different methods, as well as troubleshooting steps. Uh, additionally, if you're still stuck and you need to email me for support, when you run the install script on your desktop, you should see these install logs created. You can simply send that to me in an email if you're stuck and need some more support. Um, but you should be fine with the steps you've seen in this video. The uh, JSX bin file works for probably 99% of all users out there. And for those who get stuck, the manual method where you simply just go to the assets folder and just drag and drop the right folder to the right destination uh, is all that you need.